guys, I get asked a lot how to put notifications in the headset. So I'm going to show you today how I do some cool stuff. You're going to need a few things first. Let's start with StreamerBot. How do you get StreamerBot? I don't know. Go here. Just download it. You need it. Next, we're going to need the VR notification pipe made by Ball. Just Google it. It's really easy to find. Links in the description. Once it's down, extract it. Have it in a folder. Cuddle it. Love it. Run it. Okay. Go to notification editor. This is the notification editor. This is where you create your notifications or in headset effects. This support GIFs and PNG files with transparency. Let's start by going to our test images and we're just gonna push an image into my headset. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. Let's turn this into a flashbang redemption. When I say flashbang, I mean, let's blind me and let's use the image. You could make this white or you could do lots of things with it, but let's just do this. Okay, let's make it nice and short. One second is enough. We're gonna anchor it to our heads so it follows us no matter where we look. Let's also make the distance away from our heads, maybe 0.2. Let's have that fade out a little bit. Let's go to transition out. Let's set this opacity to zero, that's fine. Let's set the duration for this, one second. So now I'm being flashed for two seconds with a one second fade out. We'll make this a nice smooth sine curve. I think that's how you say it. I was bad at maths. Okay, submit to pipe. Okay, next up, we want to put use that in StreamerBot. We're gonna go click here on JSON and download. It's gonna create a text file. Let's just stick it in our test images folder for now, but you can save it wherever you like. You just need to know the file path. In the description, you'll find a link to Pastebin where you're gonna grab the action import. So we're gonna start that. Import on StreamerBot. Import string, you just pop that in there. Bada bing, bada boom. You got yourself an action. Once you've got your action imported, now it's time for the shit that looks super tricky, but it's actually pretty easy. So your new import's right here. Send custom notification to pipe. We'll click this. It's gonna say, hey, where's the payload? You're going to tell it where the payload is. Open up your test folder where we put that JSON file earlier or text file we put earlier. We're going to grab the path and we're going to tell it where to go. Go up here. Say, hey, I want you to go here. You got to replace your backslashes with forward slashes. Because I don't know, I didn't make this thing. Get the name of your file. There's probably better ways to do this, but hey, I'm a noob. Make sure it completes successfully so you know it's good. Awesome. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to hop in here. On this file, you'll see that it has an image path. You have to tell it where your image is. Make sure to change this path. So it might say some bullshit. Make sure you put in the target path right here and just blast it in there. Remember, change your backslashes to forward slashes. If you want to add a sound effect to make sure it works, you can do that too. Let's put one in. Awesome. Press OK. Next we got to do is we got to tell Stream about where the pipe is. What does that mean? Complicated stuff. All you need to know is the server ports 8077, where you can change that I don't know. You're a weirdo. Do your own thing. Go to servers and clients. Go to WebSocket clients. We're going to add a new WebSocket. We're going to call this pipe because we like to pipe. We're going to update the endpoint socket right here. Change to 8077. Awesome. We don't need to worry about any of this stuff. Maybe we'll set to auto connect on startup and reconnect in case of disconnect. Hit save. Okay. We've got our WebSocket set up. Don't forget, once you set it up, it doesn't automatically connect. I don't know why. Right click, hit connect. Now your status is open. What do we need to do next? I don't know. Let's set up a hotkey and test it out. Hotkeys, right click, add. We're gonna, we'll just make it one, control one. We're gonna add an action. That's how StreamBot works. You create actions. We're gonna send the custom notification pipe action. Select it, okay, save. Press control one on your keyboard. When your hotkey set, hit save and settings. And that's a control one. Fragged. Oh my God, it's my pelvis and it's in my face. Great job, everybody. You just learned how to do notifications in StreamerBot. You're welcome. Huh? away viper i don't understand this only shows me how to get it in vr how do i get it to link in with twitch and do all my redemptions and stuff ha that's not my problem go look at this video bye